Hello, this is Tony Hiller from Visitech.ai. Over the next few minutes using Visitech, we're all going to become experts in understanding the U.S. national debt. This website from the United States Department of the Treasury updates the national debt every single day. I'm going to click on the Download CSV button to get the data. Now we're going to go to the Visitech website to analyze the data. This is what the website currently looks like for subscribers. It will be changing some in the not too distant future. I'm going to take the data I just downloaded and drag it into the graphing window. There's three graphs there, but I'm only interested in total public debt outstanding, so I'm going to X out the other two. You can see that the national debt has been growing at an accelerating rate since 1992. The upwards curvature shows us that. I'm going to zoom in on the recent data by right-clicking and dragging. The chart is now showing May 31st until the present. You can see that there were two big jumps in the national debt. One occurred right after the big beautiful bill passed on July 4th, and the other has occurred over the last two days. Since the big beautiful bill passed, the U.S. national debt has increased by $1.65 trillion. And over the last two days, the national debt has increased by $358 billion. Now let's zoom out and look at the whole graph. First, I'm going to focus on the last five years. And I'm going to turn on the trend line by clicking this checkbox. Since June 30, 2000, the national debt has been growing at a rate of more than $2 trillion per year. There was a big jump in the national debt from March 30, 2020 through the end of June 2020. The national debt grew by almost $3 trillion during that time. It was during the COVID pandemic and the government was paying people to stay home and not work. From 2011 to 2019, the national debt was growing at a rate slightly less than $1 trillion per year. From 2001 to 2008, the national debt was growing at a rate slightly higher than $500 billion per year. And during the 1990s, the national debt grew at a rate of about $200 billion per year. Now the national debt is growing at a rate about 10 times that, or $2 trillion per year. So now let's look at the big picture. There was a rapid increase in the rate of growth of the debt after March 2001. This was due to the dot-com crash. Then there was another big increase in the rate of growth of the debt after September 2008. This was due to the bank bailout. There was a very large increase in the rate of growth of the debt after March 2020 because the government borrowed a lot of money to pay people to stay home and not work for several months. Then there have been two more big increases. One was after the Inflation Reduction Act and another was after the Big Beautiful Bill. And as we already saw, there's been a massive increase in the debt over the last two days. It's easy to explain what's going on here. Every time the government borrows a big sum of money, the interest on the debt increases. Because of that, the rate of growth of the national debt increases, and this repeats over and over again. And now the debt is growing 10 times faster than it was during the 1990s. This is not rocket science, it's just basic math, made much easier by Visitech.ai. You can analyze just about any type of data using Visitech. We're currently priced to $20 a month, which is much cheaper than any of our competition who are charging more than $200. And we will be updating our documentation soon to make it much more user-friendly. I'll be back with lots more videos and information soon.